Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Legacy Challenge. In the last episode, we had our little twinnies. We had Anna Maria and Sasha age up into children and they're so, so cute. So Anna Maria is a bit mean and Sasha is a good girl. She's also the tomboy and Anna Maria is the girly girl. So this should definitely be very, very interesting. But also our friends, the DeSalle Nor family, they have an older daughter, Jolene, and two twin boys named Dylan and Lucas. They all aged up into children as well so in this episode we are going to we have a little townie that one of our viewers have made so we're gonna visit their family and introduce ourselves to them and then hopefully in this episode we are going to have our second baby I forgot to say that before but we also got pregnant again so Ray and Jake are going to have their I guess not second baby their third baby because they have twins already so it's going to be their second pregnancy though so if you are excited for this episode give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications if you haven't already and let's go ahead and play the legacy challenge so it is 7 40 a.m on a wednesday i don't know if our little twinnies have school today let's see do they have to go today oh oh so it was a holiday it was Winterfest, but i i like what is it just i guess i just deleted it because i didn't feel like dealing with Winterfest because i've done that in so many of my games already so that's not what i wanted to focus on so i'll have to change that later also i still can't find the freaking bunk bed that i tried to find in the last episode so i think the twins are just gonna have to share a room we actually have enough money to add on a third room though so maybe i'll do that but yeah i'll have to figure that later when the baby comes actually we should probably figure it out before the baby comes because it might be too late but i can definitely at least get rid of these high chairs so i haven't changed all of anna marie and sasha's outfits yet maybe actually i will do that now so you guys can see yeah so i've only changed their everyday outfit that's pretty much it so yeah let's go ahead and change their outfit so you guys can do that with me okay so this is anna maria we're gonna start with so this is what i had for her her everyday outfit although i think i just picked something from the style outfits already like the pre-made outfits i think i'm gonna pick something else because i kind of want her to wear a dress for her everyday outfit because i think though that she would be super super girly like there's like girly but then there's super girly but i'm also trying stay away from the princess dresses that we have for the royal family because I don't think she would wear that. I think she would wear something ooh, like the rainbow dress would be cute guys. I kind of like this. I think she would wear this. And then we have, of course, I don't know if these shoes match completely with it and it's winter right now, but oh wait, these shoes are perfect. They match perfectly. She's wearing a little rainbow dress. That's adorable. Do we want like a second option for her too? I just like, I like dresses for her and I think she'd be like, she, I think she would really like these dresses too. So maybe like this cute, cute blue one. This one is actually like very adorable. There's also this one too. So this one's cute and I would probably not use this for the royal family just because it's a little bit short but maybe the green one I think maybe or would she like the pink one maybe the pink one I don't because she's not wearing a pink dress yet so let's do the pink one and it's winter at the moment but we just want her to wear like flats or something with it maybe maybe yeah maybe just like white flats that's usually my go-to for everything is white flats so for her formal outfit so that's I mean that's kind of already cute but let's see what are the stylized ones so that one's very official looking there's this one and then with like the pink dress too but I don't know if I want to keep this pink dress I think we want to pick our own pink dress there's oh mm, there's this one is really cute too and then we also have oh gosh guys these are so so oh there's this one well is that formal though I mean it kind of looks like a sundress too but look i guess it could be formal too that's adorable but i don't know if that's a formal dress oh wait this one this one is cute and i like this i don't think i've seen this yet so and then i like the tights and the pink flats with it too so i think we're gonna keep that and then i'll do like her earrings and stuff later on um and then at least because it's cold outside so i'm going to pick her cold weather outfit so just do this really cute the cute pink one it's really adorable okay and then some like some really cute pink boots with it too so she's super super girly i definitely think she is and then let's see do we want although i do have some really cute pajamas so maybe I will just pick some pajamas for her. So not those. I just want, I think it's this one. It's like a Minnie Mouse one. But then, oh, this one is cute too. That could honestly pass as a dress. But I think she would like the Minnie Mouse one, you guys. I think this is adorable. Okay, so we're going to stick with this one for now. And I'll change the other ones later. And then for Sasha, so we can start with her winter outfit. So she's definitely a tomboy. So I'm going to pick something like, 
a, like a little bit more tomboy like this, like the blue one like that. I think it's really cute actually. Maybe some jeans with it. And then uh, I, honestly the boot she's wearing, I think it's fine. Maybe I'll just change to like some blue boots. So, and then she's actually, guys, Sasha's gorgeous. And she has this like uh, really cute braid with it too. Definitely not gonna wear any, uh, put any makeup on her because uh, Anna Maria is wearing a little bit of makeup, but Sasha, I don't think would wear makeup at all. So this, I mean, this is what we had for her. This is super, super tomboy boy issue guys i mean like two like definitely extreme tomboy so i think i might just keep this for her maybe mm, i mean there's this one too i don't know that doesn't go with the the pants although the sweatshirt doesn't really go with the pants either <laughs> so i don't really know but so let's see what else is there i don't know if i have very many custom content shirts for kids i have a lot of dresses for kids but definitely not a lot of custom content shirts. And I, I don't usually wear shirts. Like I like dresses so much more just because you don't have to put a whole outfit together. So uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with this. She has her everyday or her winter outfit pick. Oh gosh, no. Okay, this is her formal outfit, but I don't think she would dress up like this, like super formal. Honestly, I feel like she would just wear something like this, like a sweater dress maybe. Like she does not want to dress up, but her parents would be like, you have to wear a dress. Well, she doesn't have to wear a dress, but I feel like she'd want to. I mean. She could wear a blazer, but I don't know if she'd be that bold and tomboyish enough to wear a blazer at her age. I feel like, I don't know, maybe she would. Maybe she would. I don't know. Like just even like just a shirt with some nice pants I think would be good too. So, I mean, she could wear it like that. Oh yeah, just like that with some nice pants. Maybe, maybe, mm, I don't know how I feel about this though, you guys. You guys can tell me what you think. Do you think her parents would force her to wear a skirt? I don't know. Jake and I would be pretty open to that, though, I feel like. If she wants to wear pants, she can, but they have to be nice pants, though. So they'd have to be like these. But I don't like this outfit. Like, this doesn't go. Oh, why is this so difficult? Okay, you know what? Just for now, I think maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do this with the blue. Although, but they're jeans, you guys. They're jeans. That's not going to work. That's not gonna fly if we go to a formal event. I don't even have a formal event planned. I don't know why I'm focusing on this so much. Let's do the sweater dress with the boots. I think this is fine. Okay, so that's Sasha and Anna Maria, but guys, isn't she beautiful? Like, so, I mean, Anna Maria is beautiful too, but Sasha is so, so beautiful. But I mean, Anna Maria's got, definitely got that little me look to her too. So it's just interesting to see them like it's so different because they're twins, but they are very, very different. They could not be more different to be honest. Okay, so that is their outfits. So I think we're gonna go ahead and meet our neighbors. So the neighbors, oh gosh, I have to check their last names because I couldn't pronounce it at first and I have to look at it to read it. So we'll go ahead and travel. Ray is like, I don't even know if she's in her second trimester yet to be honest, but I think she should have her baby by the end of this episode. So this this is the the Tra Travisier family. So uh, it's Rosie's now a single mom after her husband left with another woman. She now has to raise her two children alone and she is working hard to give them a bright future. So that's really, really cute. So it's a single mother. So they are definitely like, I mean, they've got a lot going on, but I think we're going to go introduces, introduces ourselves. We're going to go introduce ourselves. Sorry guys, I can't talk today. I just filmed like, the royal family episode and i couldn't talk in that one either so i apologize if just like jumble is coming out of my mouth okay so we are here at the tra uh trav traverse your family's household so they have a girl that's anna maria and sausage sausage <laughs> i just called our child the sausage uh they have a daughter that is anna maria and sasha's age oh no What's wrong? Anna Maria, sibling phase. Anna Maria seems to want a new brother or sister. Well, you're gonna get one, so you're in luck. That's interesting. I wouldn't think that she would want one. Uh, Sasha is feeling a little bit embarrassed, and I don't know why. So, okay, so Ray and Jake are going to go introduce themselves. So, friendly introduction, friendly intro. Come back. Okay, friend. Cheerful introduction. And then Sasha and Anna Maria can go find the little girl that's their age. Although, did she leave for school? Wait. Did she leave? Oh no, she's right here. Okay, I was like, oh shoot. Okay, so friendly introduction. Although I don't know if Anna Maria would do a friendly introduction, you guys. But Anna Maria doesn't have any friends. But well, no, that's not true. She has Jolene, Luke, and Dylan. So she, they do have some friends. They do. So I think I'm also in this episode going to have them make a little club. So. Okay, so Anna Maria is a social butterfly, but she for sure would want to be like the leader of the pack. 
Sasha, on the other hand, is a little bit more quiet, but she's very adventurous. And of course, we know that she's a tomboy. I think she would do a lot of funny interactions. She would do like joke about boogers. I feel like that's totally something that Sasha would. Well, but she's a little bit quiet, but she's also adventurous. So I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. Anna Maria, I think, is just going to try to like establish her dominance here. So maybe she'll do some mischief interactions. So maybe trick with a hand buzzer she doesn't know her very well though so we'll see how this goes i don't think she'd like insult her quite yet i think she still wants to make friends she still wants to be wanted but i feel like that's why she could be mean sometimes she might just have like a little bit of low self-esteem so yeah oh gosh okay so she just used the hand buzzer but it looks like she liked it she didn't mind it so her name is mary so this is mary and then what's the toddler's name? The toddler's name... Oh, he's making a mess. His toddler's name is Liam. So I think that Ray and Jake can introduce themselves to Liam too. So do a friendly introduction to the toddler. And then Anne-Marie and Sasha. So they seem to be getting along okay with Mary. So I think I'm just real quick also going to have them introduce themselves to Rosie. So do a friendly introduction friendly introduction and then they can also introduce themselves to little baby Liam too he's so so cute guys I love his little bowl cut it's adorable okay so it looks like we've introduced ourselves to everyone here so I'm going to have them start a club okay so with Sasha I feel like so we have the League of Adventurers but is this like is this for children it is for children so with the League of Adventures, I feel like Sasha, that's like, that just screams Sasha to me. So I think she's going to join that. And then, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and have a club gathering. Yes, I'll be right there. So Sasha's going to join them. So we'll get to meet the kids that are already here. They're definitely like pre-populated Sims. I don't know if that's what they're called, but they're Sims that were already made for the Sims game. So we'll get to meet them. I'm sure you guys know who they are. I think it was like Elsa Bergesson, which I've totally met a hundred million times before. But I don't remember who the other kids were in there. So... Ooh, hair square looks really cool in the winter time. So we have Lucas Munch, and then we have Max, and and then Sasha. Yeah. So is there any other one of our friends we want to invite? So she seems closer with Dylan, and I don't actually remember what kind of like traits that Dylan and Lucas have. And I don't know if Jolene. I have to. I have to look at their personalities again because I don't remember. Like, if they're... Oh my god, there's a lot of kids in the game. Oh, Lyric Huff! So these are all also... These are also townies that you guys have made in the past, too. So I will go ahead... Hmm, who should we have first? I know the Huffs, for sure, was a family... Oh, and, and Casey Bates, too. That She's a family that one of our viewers made. So I'm going to add her for now. And then I don't know if we're going to add Joel. I think we're going to add Dylan. I, I have to double check their traits, but I feel like Dylan would be the more adventurous one. So I'm going to add him here. And then we can add more kids later on too. I have the mod where we can have like unlimited uh, unlimited members in a club, but we just need to have like more club points first. So they're going to go ahead and play some Space Explorer. And then we need to have Sasha meet all of these kids too. So we can see if she's actually like a good fit for this club. So meet Elsa Bergesson. I cannot say Elsa without thinking of Queen Elsa from Frozen. So that, and of course she has the one braid too. I'm 100% sure that is exactly what EA was going for when they made this character. So we have uh, also Max. What's his name again? Max Ver... Wait, come back. Max Verreal? Isn't that it? Max Ver... Villareal. Villareal? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, he's also part of the Renegades, which means I'm pretty sure that that kid is evil. There's an evil child in our club, and I don't know how I feel about Sasha being part of this club with an evil child. I feel like Ray and Jake would hear about... What's his name? Max. Um, and then, like, tell her, like, no, you can't hang out with him. Or, like, they'll never want to have him over either. And they probably don't want Sasha to hang out with him either. I don't know if they know how bad he is yet, though. So we'll just have to see. But so I don't I, I don't know if I need to restart a kids club gathering because we don't have the two kids that we added here. Um, but when we get enough points, we can add more people. But for now, I think this will just be it. But yeah, she can be Casey Bates. So Casey was one of the townies that one of our viewers made too. So she lives with her brother, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then of course, we, you guys know Dylan D. Salnor too, because we've been like close, we we're very close family friends with them. And Sasha seems a lot closer to Dylan than Lucas, which made me think that like Dylan 
was probably the more adventurous one too, if Sasha is also very adventurous. So, I mean, this seems like a really good club for Sasha. The only one I'm not too sure about here is Max Villa Villa Real Villa Real Villa Real. I mean, every other kid seems okay here, so I think this is a good club for her. So, as far as Anna Maria, so I'm, not, I'm I just want to click on Anna Maria's thing. I understand that Sasha's queue is full. Calm, calm down. Okay, bring Anna Maria here. So for Anna Maria, I don't know what kind of, I don't know, there's not another kids club, is there? There's the Paragons, but that's definitely like a young adult club. Definitely not for her, but of course, she wants to be the leader of the pack. So I think she would start her own club. So create a club. So add Sims to this club. Well, okay, so let's figure out what, I don't know what they're called yet, but for requirements, they need to be a child. We want this to be a kids club. And then I also think, hmm, for traits, I don't know. A lot of these traits aren't even for children though. So I, I feel like she would want them to be either outgoing. I think she's okay with a sim being mean if they come here too, to the club, because it would fit right in with her. So uh, they need to be mean, they need to be outgoing. I don't think kids can get jealous, can they? I don't know. Um, I don't really think she'd be into someone who was like a goofball or anything. Evil, I think she'd be okay with the sim being evil, to be honest. We're gonna add, we're gonna add that. So any sims that are evil are welcome into this club. I don't think she'd want anyone who's childish or anyone who was like a goofball. I think she would want them to be like a really well-respected club, I guess. But that's kind of the only ones that I see here. I guess they could be cheerful too. We could add some cheerful sims. Some outgoing sims for sure, which I already checked, and I think that might be it. I don't know if, if kids can be, I don't know if kids can be neat. They can be per perfectionists, they can be snobby, she'll, add, she'll be friends with someone who's snobby for sure. Okay, so I don't know how many sims that leaves for her to add here. Oh my gosh, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot at all. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll delete that. Because I want, I kind of wanted Mary, the friend that she just made, to be part of the club. And I kind of want Jolene to be part of the club too. I'll have to double check Jolene's traits to see what she's like. And I'll also have to check Mary's traits too. But I think we're gonna add them for now. And then we can add Olivia Kim Lewis because I think she, she did fit into the traits we had before. And then let's see, who else would she add? So that's really all that fit. But this is, a, this is one of the townies that one of our viewer made that's literally, also sorry if you hear ringing, that's Bubble scratching himself and he's got a, a collar that makes a lot of noise on. So Lyric Huff is one of the Sims or one of the townies that you guys made. So is Sabrina Huff, Caroline Campos. I don't think that's one of the townies that our viewers made. So yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. I think I need to change. I don't know how I feel about their outfits. We'll have to fix that later. But okay, so we have a full club, you guys. So club activities, so do's and don'ts. So I think that she would want them to do like, mm -mm, maybe social, be, I don't know if she'd want them to be friendly because she, she, she's mean. So maybe play in closet, like they would want to like, try on a lot of outfits together. They could go swimming. I think it would be like, it's always a huge thing for kids to go swimming like that. Like someone who had a pool when you were a child was like the most popular kid ever. So swim would be one of them too. And then maybe playing Don't Wake the Llama is also always a very popular game. So they can do that too. And then of course, like watching movies and stuff like that also. So what, where's that? Is that under like home activities? Let's see, watch TV. Yeah, all right. So watch TV. Oh wait, I think try on outfits was one of them. But can kids try on outfits? I guess they can. Um, yeah, okay, so try on outfits. So that's all of our kids' activities. So, okay, so this is a club. This is an invite only club. I feel like she would make it an invite only. Let's see, can we find a club hangout? A general venue or specific venue? I don't know any specific ones, especially for kids. I don't have like a kid's clubhouse. Maybe I'll do that later on. So I'll do none for now and then we can edit it later. For a name, okay. Should it be called like the popular kids? Would this be a popular kids club? I feel like Anna Maria would make it a popular kids club. Also, I don't know if she would even add this many people to her club. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll, we'll see who passes the test under Anna Maria's eyes. So, um, so the club, I think we're going to do, let's do the, either a butterfly or a rainbow. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Bubbles keep shaking and it's ringing just everywhere. Um, let's do a butterfly. Should we do like the popular kids club? Would they even call themselves that though? I feel like kids would be like immature enough to do that. Let's do the, let's do, I'm just gonna do popular kids. 
So it, yeah, I think it added to the club thing at the end of it too. So, okay, so Popular Kids is going to be Anna. That is such a pretentious name. <laughs> Anna Rhea, you can't, I can't believe she's like doing this. Okay, so Popular Kids, I can always change the name. I think I can change the name later. Can you edit a club name later? I'm pretty sure. All right, well, we'll just confirm that for now. If, if we can't, let's see, if we, yeah, we could add it if we wanted to. So let me know what you guys think of the club name and then maybe we could change it later. I've already seen people do like social butterflies and all that stuff too. And I don't want to copy everyone and do that. So we'll, we'll just have to do that later on. So I want to start a gathering. Although do we, I don't think we want to start a gathering here because we already have her twin sisters gathering going on here. Maybe it would mean so. Oh no, they're already meeting at the park in Windenburg. So... Let's see, where's a good, fun kids place that they could go to? There's like the park at Oasis Springs too. And it's like very nice and like warm here with palm trees, like super tropical. So I feel like they might try to go there. So yeah, let's do that. So let's invite our whole club. So we can have a little club gathering and meet all of the kids in our new club. Okay, so these are all of our club members. So Anna Maria is leading a little bit of a space explorer expedition, although it, like, playing, uh, yeah, okay, so playing on the playground was not really one of their activities, but I don't know whose house to go to. Maybe, maybe, I think we're going to try to find, like, a little clubhouse or something that would work for them with, like, closets and stuff that would be good for them. Yeah, okay, so I want to search in the gallery and look for a place. That can be like their little clubhouse area too. So open the gallery and then I don't, I have no idea where to put this, but hopefully we'll find something. So go to gallery and then, okay, mm, let's, let's just type in kids and see what comes up. And I need to go to lots because otherwise a bunch of like kids sims are going to come up. So go to most popular. Okay. Oh, that's a cute clubhouse. Ooh, kid, park kids three. <gasps> Ooh, oh, kids Kids live here. Okay, well, it doesn't need to be a residential lot. There's a kid's park. I feel like she would pick something with like a lots of castles and stuff. There's a kid's dream park. Although, but none of the, a lot of their activities are outdoors, you guys. So there's a kid's ice cream shop. That's kind of cool. And it's pink. I feel like that would be very attractive to Anna Maria. I think she would like it a lot because it's super girly. And there's some like kids activities inside too. Although we'd have to deal with like a lot of people kind of being here. Uh, I think we're gonna try it. We're gonna see how this goes. If we don't like it, I can always switch it up later. So, uh, okay, it looks like that's, uh, uh, where should we put this? Mm, I don't use any of these like libraries or nightclubs or anything like that. So why don't we replace the, should we replace the library? <sighs> Or should I put it like here? Let's do this here. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll put this there. So it'll be like, it's in a little like residential neighborhood. I can move it later. I should have probably moved it to Newcrest, but I don't think I have anything else going on in Newcrest right now. So otherwise it would be like the only thing in Newcrest, which would be a little bit creepy, not gonna lie. Okay, so it is built here. So I'm going to go back to Anna Maria and we're going to bring the kids club here. Okay, so because it's snowing, everything is just covered in snow. But okay, so this is actually like kind of cute guys. So this is really cute. Okay, so why don't we have you all, all oh, there's little like ducklings in the fountain. That's adorable. Who is this? This is, oh, wait, come back. Alexander Goth is here. That's a, that's a boy. Maybe, I feel like Anna Maria would kind of be like, okay, like, I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she would be a little bit boy crazy. <gasps> maybe she would. Okay, so maybe, maybe she should like make them all play there because she wants to talk to Alexander Goth. So I feel like she would make her entire club go hang out on the monkey bars just so she could talk to Alexander Goth. They don't have a closet here, so that's what they would need to like try on outfits and stuff. So I'd probably have to add that later on. But I mean, like, yeah, they have like tables and stuff here and like, Okay, there's like all adults here though, so that's the only thing. But who's all here? Claire Bergesson, we have the Goths are all here. It looks like that would explain why Alexander Goth was here. Um, and then we've got like little kids toys over here too for them to all play. So this is a pretty good kid hangout, you guys. So I think I'm going to make this their official club hangout. So let's see, specific location and what's, we are in, we're in Willow Creek and then kids ice cream shop. Okay, so yeah, so this is their official hangout and I think they get more points for hanging out at their club. I'm not 100% sure, but oh my gosh, these little toy cars, they're all like covered in snow. Oh, congratulations on your recent birthday. Thanks Dylan, but you had the same birthday that we did. <laughs> so I think the 
kids here, guys, in the club, I think are pretty sweet. So Anna Maria hasn't talked to many of them. I think she would, like, maybe start to ask them what they thought of the club. Beg for emblem. What does that mean? I don't know what an emblem is. Like, one of those, like metal things i don't know interesting okay well uh okay anna maria though i think she would do a lot a lot a lot a lot of mischief interaction so she's gonna trick a lot of them with a hand buzzer we're going to maybe monkey around like i don't know if she'd like i feel like she'd be the type to like tease them about their crush too i should probably check on our needs to see how we're doing Oh, actually, we're doing pretty good. So hunger, bladder is all good. So it's a Wednesday at 4 p.m. So they should probably be going home for dinner pretty soon. I don't know if Ray's going to have her baby in this episode, you guys. She needs to go to the bathroom, though, at home. She should probably take care of herself. Care of herself. Um, but yeah, it looks like our yeah third semester in 16 hours. And my camera's about to die, too. Guys, I might cut this episode short and maybe we'll have the baby in the next episode and then at that point i can have bunk beds for us too so yeah so i'm sorry this is a really really short episode but i think i am going to cut this off here if you guys want to add any more townies to our game you're absolutely welcome to but yeah we're gonna end this video here so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a big thumbs up let me know your baby name suggestions too for our third child because i'd love to hear them and i will see you guys in the next episode bye